Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Patrick. And yesterday, a lot of you probably know, there was a big YouTube boxing match between two YouTubers, one named KSI and the other YouTuber named Joe Weller. And because it was such a big boxing match, I wanted to do a breakdown of the fight. First of all, holy shit. Check out that ring girl. Bro, I don't know where she came from or who she is, but somebody please find me her Insta handle. I love how KSI is trying to keep his bandana on during this fight. His trainers are struggling to put the helmet on his head. So they meet in the center of the ring, and the first thing you notice is that KSI is way bigger than Joe. Okay, so the fight starts, and it's basically just KSI hitting Joe for 22 seconds straight. Joe doing nothing, just keeping his hands up, and just getting tagged by all those punches. And all of a sudden, he lands a left hook that snaps back KSI's head. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is actually a little too violent, and most of the fans of these YouTubers are like little kids and preteens, so let's try to lighten the mood a little bit. Okay, okay, that's good, but let's lighten it a little bit more. These first 30 seconds of the fight basically sum up the rest of the fight. It's just KSI working the jab, Joe keeping his hands up, getting hit a bunch, and occasionally throwing up a left hook. But I like whenever Joe hits KSI, KSI's hands just start flailing like this. It was clear what Joe's game plan was. He knew that KSI was the bigger guy, the longer dude, so he's gonna be working his jab, and Joe wanted to work a Mike Tyson type of game plan. What he was trying to do was that he'd keep his hands up and counter KSI every time KSI threw the jab with a left hook. The thing is, is that besides the years of training that Mike Tyson had, Mike Tyson was always moving and slipping and dipping. Make sure the punches flew past him. What Joe was doing is that he would keep his hands up, walk right into punches, and then try to counter off getting hit. When you get hit, that leg's your time to counter. And what Mike Tyson was such a specialist in was that he would make the opponent throw out a jab and he would slip the jab, which caused an opening. Because your opponent is the most vulnerable when he's punching at you. So most of this fight, he just has his hands up and he's walking into punches rather than trying to evade the punches and being elusive and then countering off those punches. And contrary to popular belief, prime Mike Tyson wasn't the type of fighter to just pressure and walk forward to his opponents. He'd actually sit back and wait for his opponents to throw a punch, slip it, and then counter. I was actually impressed with KSI because he was throwing some body shots, which earned extra points in my book. And once he started getting comfortable and noticed that Joe was doing nothing, just kind of standing there like a statue, KSI started opening up with his right hand. There's actually a point where Joe punches KSI right in the d I feel like this is something they probably went over in their training camp leading up to this fight. I'm actually impressed with KSI because he was actually doing some things that are pretty clever. He started noticing things during the fight, like Joe was always in a crouch stance, so he threw out the uppercut to make Joe stand up more for the jab. He was always trying to pivot and stiff arm and push Joe away from him so he could get Joe off him and also stay in the middle of the ring. There is one thing though, every time KSI gets hit by Joe, he starts filling his arms like he's the wacky waving inflatable arm waving tube band from Family Guy. Then round two starts and it turns into an MMA match for some reason. Joe starts pressuring KSI and KSI tries to submit him with a standing guillotine choke and even during the end of the round KSI throws him to the mat. In my opinion he should have followed up with some ground and pound. In the third round KSI starts pouring it on on Joe and Joe's just giving as much resistance to KSI as my grandfather with multiple scoliosis would. Joe even tries doing the ref's job by saying like oh I lost my mouthpiece but KSI's like no f this is a fight and nails him in the side of the head. And then Joe gets a standing count, he gets a second standing count and then finally the ref jumps in to save Joe. And I feel bad for KSI to be honest because he spent four months with professional boxers and professional nutritionists and he spent a bunch of money and time really training hard for this match when he could have just hit a heavy bag for four months and he would have gotten the same results as he did. So I'm here to publicly challenge KSI to a boxing match. Don't let all that money go to waste homie. Joe just stood there doing nothing for 90% of the match. So I don't know if it was the nerves that scared him, but KSI basically wasted four months of preparation and money just to hit a heavy bag. And I mean, this match with me would be fair. KSI actually has experience inside a ring now. He has the money to hire professional boxers and trainers and nutritionists. And not to mention, he'd probably have a 20 pound advantage over me. So KSI, let's box. I even have a slogan for this match. KSI, about to be KIA. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you want to see me box JJ, make sure you like this video and share it. Comment down below, who do you think would win in a boxing match, KSI or your boy Patrick. Make sure to follow me on my social media outlet. Make sure you stay updated on all the news. That's Pat Patch Fit for Instagram, Patrick underscore Python for Twitter, Patty Patch for Snapchat. And if you want to send me an email about fighting or fitness, if you have any questions, you can send me a personalized email at patpatchfight at gmail.com and I'll make sure to give you a personalized response. It's your boy Patrick, KSI, the KIA. Let's get it.